My Taco Bell order is a cheese quesadilla, a cheesy gordita crunch, and I really love the grilled cheese burrito, but it's a lot at once and I'm lactose intolerant. So it really like, it gets me, but I love it so much. And oh, the um, Baja Blast Freeze. I will go just for that. Mm-hmm. Asia Day. I'm a local musician from Wilmington, North Carolina. I'm singer-songwriter. You can find me like around town playing music. Both of my parents played music out locally and like to Nashville and stuff and I like wanted to be just like them, both my mom and my dad and um, yeah that's like when I like kind of knew and it's really cool to do it now. <laughs> My songwriting process usually starts with me in the bathtub and the acoustics are great. Like it's the best place to like start writing or singing and I like have in my notes like song ideas or like melodies, like voice memos. And most of the time I don't, I don't even know when they were or what I'm saying, but there's little melodies in there and I just put them together. I just recorded an EP in September and I'm really looking forward to releasing it soon. It will eventually be on all platforms. I'm gonna release two singles first though, and those are the two singles that I'll be like, I'll be playing for you guys. The first song that I'll be playing for you guys is called I Still Follow You. It's about a stalker and my brother, he wrote most of it actually, and um, he played it for me like four years ago and I loved it and at first I was like, this is really weird. Like, do you really feel this way? And he was like, no, I just like wrote it. Like, it's, it's not me, I promise. It's not me, like, it's not about me. And um, like, he gave it to me cause he was like wondering what else to do and some words and like I tweaked a little bit of it. And like, we kind of co-wrote it together. And um, yeah, that's I Still Follow You. <laughs> I still follow you Through those crooked corridors Still have a sweet tooth For those lips that I adore I still drive down your street Here. You knew how this 
I was 18 whenever I played my first gig, but my parents would make me sing. And there's actually a really funny story about like, when I was younger, my dad would say on the microphone, like he would usually be like, Asia, come up here. And eventually I like got the, like the gist of it. Like before he went on break, he would usually tell me to go on like right then. So I started like hiding in the bathroom and he would like say it on the, like the microphone, like, oh, she's like going to the bathroom. Well, guess we'll have to wait till she comes back and he'll say it on the microphone. It totally, I was so shy. Yeah, I can't believe I like do it now. Yeah, it came a long way. Some really good advice um, my music teacher in middle school said to me was um, just to like be an actress. Like she was like, Asia, you can just act and um, just act like you're like this really like extrovert um, and just like be the absolute opposite of what you were. And at first I was like, oh, I don't know what that means, but I ended up like kind of thinking about it more. And I just put on this persona and it like helps, but it also, I just like come out of like, I just come alive whenever I'm like in front of people. I don't know, it's like last minute. You like build up so much courage and you were like, I just gotta do this. And you end up like feeling really good about what you did and like I keep doing it and it feels good. I describe my music as like I play a little bit of alternative rock, like American folk. It kind of like, I can't, I don't have like one genre that I do. And um, that makes it really, really fun. Um, I'd say my music is like, goes through so many emotions. It's like sad and then fun. My favorite performance is, it was like around two years ago. Um, I played a benefit for a girl named Keegan who had cancer and they live streamed it and she was watching and it was super powerful, beautiful. It was really cool and a bunch of musicians got together and we jammed out, it was cool. The next song I'll be playing for you guys is called Finish With Me. I wrote it about three years ago um, about a girl that just completely stopped talking to me out of nowhere. And um, that's, that's, that's where Finish With Me came. It's pretty self-explanatory and really sad. said you would water 
but it was easier to let it go. Ooh, 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 ooh. I thought you'd be daylight and I'd follow you like the moon remember all the neon lights as we danced all night I'd spin you as much as you Use me up, but I wouldn't change it for a damn thing. You're so finished with me, and now it feels like a fever dream. Squeeze it tight as we run across the road And I'll be here till you want me again And I know it's wrong But I can't tell to question Are you feeling? You're so finished with me And now it feels like a fever dream with me use me up and i won't change it for a damn thing i'm so finished with me this so Thank you. Some advice I would give to an aspiring musician is to very much start with being yourself because there's only one you and that is the beauty of it all. Seriously. And um, write in your notes how you're feeling and like eventually maybe you'll come up with something. And the, vi the voice memo thing's pretty cool. Yeah. Ooh, I know, I know a good one. This is like a big part of my personality. I love RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm like the biggest fan. I've seen every single episode. I can tell you everything about it. And also that like, I seen a drag show at Ibiza and I wrote like a whole poem about it because it made me so happy. And honestly, that made me feel more confident in myself because 
they are confident and that reflects on you. Like in watching them, it like makes me feel so good. You know that show? Yes, I love that show. Girl, what's y'all's favorite drag queen? Do y'all know? I could help you out if you like saw it what's and you like. Favorite? My favorite drag queen is Jinx Monsoon and of course RuPaul. Love him.